My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review of Madagascar and this review will have spoilers so there's your warning. But I have plenty of nostalgia for this movie. I remember back in June 2005 I was in elementary school and we went on a field trip to see this movie in theaters and I just loved it. The song I Like to Move It, Move It was just the funniest thing on the planet. Like, you, you don't understand. Back then, it was just comedy gold. So, I have watched this movie plenty of times. And I think on this latest rewatch, my appreciation for this movie grew a bit. It's still not great. I have issues. But it's... A damn solid movie. So let's begin talking about the cast and characters and that's where this movie really stands out because everybody is memorable. No matter how small of a character they may be, they stand out. So let's begin talking about Ben Stiller as Alex the Lion. And I really do think he brought plenty of personality to this character. And I loved the range he has to show in the last act of this movie. And I also like how he has to swallow his pride a little bit throughout. I thought he was a likable, well-written character, voiced incredibly well. Chris Walk as Marty the Zebra, I think brings so much energy and personality to this character. He just is so entertaining to watch and I thought the friendship between these two characters felt realistic. Jada Pinkett Smith I think does a pretty decent job as well. She doesn't have as much to work with but she still stands out and David Schwimmer I think also does a good job. His character is over the top and weird but he's memorable in that way. Satchel Baron Cohen as King Julian I think is just hilarious. He's not even in the movie much but he just stands out and his line delivery is just perfection. Cedric the Entertainer I thought did a perfectly fine job. Andy Richter as Mort also very small character but he stands out. And then we get to my favorite characters in this movie, and you know who I'm going to say. It's the Penguins. These characters are so damn funny, and they're just written so well. The entire espionage angle behind them. The fact they take everything so seriously. The fact that they can take down humans no problem. It's just wonderful. Tom McGrath, Chris Miller, Justif Jeffrey Katzenberg, and Christopher Knights all do a really great job. I like Conrad Vornan as the monkey. Once again, he's barely in it, but he's pretty funny. And the old lady who's only in the movie for one scene, voiced by Lisa Gabriel, is a memorable character. So just everybody stands out and... They give this movie so much life. I also think the musical score by Hans Zimmer is so underrated. Like, these DreamWorks movies have such great music in them. They really do. You know, whenever I hear the music from this movie, it just makes me feel like watching it. Hans Zimmer gives this movie an identity and he adds to the emotion when needed. I think he adds to the excitement when needed. And I really wish the music was available on Apple Music because the instrumental version of Best Friends is just perfection and I love Zusto's Breakout as well. I also do like the soundtrack. We got the original song I Like to Move It Move It which isn't as funny as an adult, but it's still iconic in its own way. 
but even the way the movie uses New York is well done. Uh, the way Candyman is used. Um, what a wonderful world. Th that is the best use of soundtrack in this movie. And I liked how, unlike Shark Tale, it wasn't just trying to replicate the success of Shrek. Madagascar still feels like its own thing entirely. The animation, I think, is perfectly fine. The environments are brought to life well. The characters have memorable looks to them. I do think there's like an odd blocky look to the movie, but it's still good enough. Uh, the movie can be quite funny. Um, Melman with a clock on his head, just being like, we're running out of time. That's great. Everything regarding the penguins. <laughs> when um, Alex makes that statue and it burns down, down, he's just like, down you, down you. And it's spoofing Planet of the Apes. I do like how DreamWorks can spoof other movies without being too on the nose about it. I love the fact that the limos call the main characters pansies. <laughs> They're just a couple of pansies. That's great. Um, I love it when Alex is chasing Marty and he's like, sugar, honey, iced tea. And even the way the penguins say Hoover Dam, it's just humor in kids' movies that really works. And, uh, Maurice, you did not raise your hand. Therefore, your highness comment will be stricken from the record. And at the end of the movie, should we tell them the boat out of gas? The movie is so quotable and it really is funny. And look, I do like enough of the story. I think the fact that it's about a midlife crisis and wanting more for life and making the best out of a bad experience. I think that all works really well, but there's also an aspect of the movie that Alex revolting back to his animalistic nature. Like he spent so much time in New York living the good life, but now that he's back in the wild, he's a monster. And I do like that. You know, it makes it more complicated Well. Marty is responsible for losing his friend and there's like actual emotional depth to the end of the movie well Alex just feels like he's a monster. My issue with it and this is my big issue with the movie is that Alex is set up to be a selfish narcissist at the beginning of the movie. He gives Marty an Alex snow globe and then Marty throws it next to all of his other Alex souvenirs and it's to kind of show the fact that he's not really humble and throughout the movie he does have to humble himself a bit but I kind of wanted more of it. I wish there was a moment where he apologized for just being selfish all those years and not thinking of him. But then it, like right when you think the movie's going to progress on that, it kind of switches gears to this Alex revolting back to his animalistic instincts. And like, I don't know, it just didn't feel like that was properly built up to. And then it feels like we didn't get the payoff of Alex having to humble himself. So it's like two different character arcs that aren't entirely satisfying. So that's my big issue with this movie. But actually just talking about it now, I do really like it. Like it's an entertaining movie you can put on in any mood. It's funny. The characters are great and stand out. Like... The voice cast really does do a great job. The music is great. It's just, you know, an, an entertaining movie. And I do think the last act has some real emotion to it. It's just I wish some of the aspects of the story were handled better. But since the beginning of this review to now, I'm actually going to bump up my score 
for Madagascar to a 7.5 out of 10. I do really like this movie. I do. I do like the sequels better though, so stay tuned for those reviews coming soon. But Madagascar, did this movie make you Gladagascar or Madagascar? Or even Sadagascar? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos soon. And Gavin out.